Hello, I am Brandon Funkhauser with Sloan Implement, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a post calibration of your yield data. So here we are on the My John Deere Operations Center. This is the map page, and we're going to go up here to Analyze. Click on Field Analyzer. Then we're going to choose what field we're going to do the post calibration to. So for this, we're going to do the 100 field. And then usually I like to come down here to the bottom and minimize this timetable bar just to get a bigger picture of what I'm trying to do. Uh, here we see on the 100 field, we're looking at an application map. We need to change that to our yield map. So here's our corn map. On the left hand side, you got your agronomic data of all the uh, information, raw data from the combine that said what it made and you know what the, how big the field was. And we're going to post calibrate that. So we're going to click on the editing pencil here. And from here, you can see all that information as well as you have an option to post calibrate it. Now you have two options on how do you post calibrate it. Um, you can do the total dry yield in bushels or you can do wet weight. So if you do wet weight, you have to type in the actual total pounds and the average moisture. Um, you can choose to reuse this average moisture, or you can type in a, the average moisture off your scale tickets. It's up to you. Uh, for this case, I'm going to drop the weight down to 950,000 pounds, and I'm going to go ahead and drop down the average moisture down to 15 even. Now, it also gives you the option to change or edit your area worked. So it says we did 97.04 acres, and I'm going to go ahead and say it was a little bit less than that. And the reason being is you could have had um, your overlap control was turned off or wasn't working properly on the combine. So it counted up more acres than what you did. Or maybe in our case, just like in our case here, we had two combines and uh, they were both recording in some of the same areas. So therefore they doubled up on some of our acres. So we're going to go ahead and update this to 95 as well. Now before I hit save, I want to show you, you can also choose this edit field. Now here's our two combines that were in the field. And it's going to show us the overall map of the field. Uh, but we're going to say one of these combines constantly was running a lower uh, yield average than the other one. So we can actually drag this bar up and you see the map change here where you're going to see a heavy green everywhere that combine was. Now I can even do both and you're going to see a more dominant green now of everywhere that was a better yield. Now we don't going to use this usually to uh this isn't for editing the numbers this is going to be editing just the picture we're going to go and cancel out of there we've already got our numbers typed in so we're going to go and hit save and now it's going to go through its post calibration this usually only takes about a minute or so um, while this is doing this you could go up here and change to a different field and start post calibrating other fields and then come back and see your end results uh, but for this demonstration we're just going to kind of hang tight here until it's ready to go. Okay, so it's done calibrating. Um, so here's our new numbers over here on the left. You can see there's the numbers we actually typed in and the moisture, but all of our other numbers have updated too. So we have new average dry yield. We have a new total dry yield for bushels. So all that updated with the wet weight number that I typed. Uh, so this is a finished product of a post calibration. Now you might ask, how do I know if the field's already been post calibrated? Maybe somebody else already did it. Uh, so if you click back on that editing pencil, you can now see at the bottom of the page, it tells you this field has been post calibrated and you can see the numbers that, that was typed in so if you want to you could edit these numbers and calibrate again hit save again or from here you could actually revert it back to its raw data so if i hit this button right now it will erase everything we just did and put it back to the exact way it was when it came out of the combines uh information whenever it was uploaded or uh done wirelessly and that's how you do a post calibration. Thanks a lot.